Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Ooh, wow. It is bright. Today, we're doing like a day in the life of an influencer, brand owner, whatever. Whatever my job is at that day. If y'all are new here, subscribe. Hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. It's 7.30 and I'm currently on my way to DeNovo. Today is launch day for the Okine, which is a brand that I co-founded. We have a puff bag coming out and then we also have a Christmas party next week. So I'm going to the store that we're having the Christmas party at to get content to promote it. Today is kind of all over the place though. Look, I am getting a facial. I have an event tonight though. Subscribe if y'all are new here. I'm gonna listen to World Tour's podcast. My new podcast episode just came out with Raina Roberts. It's a really good one, all about following your dreams and having confidence. It's actually a really good episode. Yay! It is so festive and so beautiful here. So I had to hit Samuel. You and Fitzy will be the bestest of friends. This is our little photo booth setup, not photo booth, Christmas card photo setup. You guys can come and take a Christmas card. Christmas card pics with your friends. I can also. I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Off to my favorite breakfast place ever. It's, it's so good. I can't believe you don't go every day. I go every day. Literally every day. Guys, this is my drink. And you have to just trust me. I'm going to make a TikTok trying it. But you have to just trust me. I can't get over it. Like, you have to come here and have this drink. It's literally the best thing I've had in my entire life. And I know it looks disgusting. But like, people are always like, oh my god, you try it? It's the best thing you've ever had. I don't know what enticed me to get it one day. Also, best breakfast food, everything here. It's the best thing I've ever Guys, okay, I'm leaving. Woo! We have a launch for the puff bag in an hour. I got a good morning to go just because Bishop Arts is like 20 minutes out of the way So I don't always get to come here. I'm coming a lot next week. So I had to get another It is my favorite drink in the world. It looks disgusting, but you have to trust me I'm just making content right now because people are asking questions about the bag Like it literally fits everything best bag ever. So anyways, that's what we're dropping today Which I'm really excited for because I've been waiting forever launch is in 30 minutes So I've got to post a bunch of stuff get all that ready and secured Got a lot of stuff to edit. I have therapy at 11, so I have to take a break then, then come back. I'm also recording a podcast for Dallas 101, which I'm really excited for Dallas Nights 101, the 101 pod. Very excited for that. Somehow my good morning drink hasn't kicked in. I need everyone to go try this drink because it is so good. Okay, so like, the fact that I just like have an apron. I'm still not over the chicken I made yesterday, you know? Anyways, back to work. I go. It's a very exciting day. We did a little pre-access code um, on our close friends on the Okime, which is just like something we do. Like if you comment a lot while I do the close friends, we have like not that many people on close friends. We've already sold like a couple, like quite a few. And only like 30 people have seen that story. So that's actually like a really high conversion. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it, but I'm just in like such a good mood today. And I was in such a bad mood earlier this week. So that makes me even more excited. Side note, do you guys want a podcast episode on how I plan out my days and weeks and like scheduling? Because I'm really passionate about that. I don't really like doing it in like a YouTube setting, but I would do it on a podcast. So let me know. Puff Bag is launching. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I have to get back to work um, and start editing footage. Um, I have some of my own stuff that I need to edit. And then I also have some stuff for the Okine so I can edit it and post it. So we are ready to go. You can listen to a podcast. Just in such a good mood. Oh my god. Oh, also Vlogmas started officially today. I'm pre-filming some vlogs. I'm a cheat. I'm a liar and a cheat when it comes to Vlogmas this year because I would rather be a liar and a cheat than nothing at all. You know, because realistically, I'm not going to be able to. Like, I can't do it all. I'm also editing my own vlogs and most people aren't. And that just really comes to me not finding an editor who has that fast of a turnaround um, in time because I decided like last week. It's, it's all on me, you know? Okay, guys. We are... One minute from launch, so I just need to go live. I had to go live with a post on all the accounts, which is mine and the Okine, all the different TikToks and stuff. Posting that and need to link the bag. This is so exciting. All right, guys, launch has gone great. It has been like half an hour and I was doing other things. Wanted to show you guys. So you can see like a live view. The Launch is like over and we're past this. So normally like when it's launch is when this is like crazy. 
Um, but you can see like a live view of the shoppers. And I will say there's so many in Texas, there's so many up here. And then there's a ton on like the East Coast normally but anyways like so exciting i have therapy in 30 minutes i'm gonna get a little bit more computer work done before i do that i have a dibs event and i had no idea how many people were like flying in for this so i actually think i'm gonna see a lot of people tonight need to edit get back to work the puff bag is now out into the world thank god oh god okay i'm out of therapy and i honestly need to leave very soon but i think i might just change into jeans because like the outfit is cute, I just want to be like a little bit more dressed up, but it's still casual. <sighs> I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna run through the Starbucks drive-thru um, and get a snack and a coffee. Go to the recording and then probably get food. And then I'm going to get a facial at my dad's new med spa he just opened, I haven't seen it yet. Today I think is like the actual opening day. I've said this before, the day's just been getting switched. So that's why I keep getting confused. All my friends and I are getting facials this week and getting a hydrofacial, which is really, really needed. Okay, here is my outfit. Casual, easy, obviously with my puff bag that's downstairs. We are off. I'm using the Way perfume. What is y'all's favorite perfume? I honestly am not really loyal to any right now. I do love Alien. I'm like out of this actually. I'm guys, it's completely out. Why was I even spraying that? Okay. Okay, I lied. I changed into this jacket because I felt like I needed to dress up for the girls. Getting my coffee, I also ate lunch and I shot a bunch of like Walmart. Stuff. Um, can I just get a grande iced coffee? I, guys, I know this is my third coffee of the day, but like, it was a shot of espresso. Like, that wasn't really. I mean, like, what else classifies it as coffee? I know. Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> the end of the day, the only thing that really gives me energy is iced coffee from Starbucks. Like, no other iced coffee will do. And cold brew, I'm not asking for an anxiety attack. I'm really excited to go record though at Style Sites. 101 if you guys live in Dallas you definitely know what the account is it has all the Dallas recs and then the 101 podcast that they just started like a few weeks ago I've been listening it's great I feel bad because I don't have the girls numbers to get them a coffee I hate when I show up places and I like didn't get someone else coffee you know but I should have prepared should have thought of that in advance hey, hi you? good how are you great. thank you you too I hated it. Don't say things like that, Stephen. No, I'm not gonna... It is so cozy. The leaves are finally changing. Took long enough. Let's go ahead and speak into your mic. Just a casual conversation, just to make hello, sure that hello. everything looks good. Hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> da, 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 da. I like forget words. When I know. I do this. I, and I do it all the time. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you're like, mm -hmm. do you not have like the same thing you say every time? It depends. Dear Media always says, like, what you have for breakfast? So then. Oh, that's a good one. That's she always like has the one like, like my favorite animal or color. Yeah. I'm like, well, usually a one word answer. So. Yeah. One word. <laughs> Well, normally I don't remember. I I batch record too, so I'll do like eight episodes in a day. I don't know how you do that. You, I'm just really on one. It, yeah. And it gets it all out. I wanted to do that less now. I was gonna but say eight in a row. I feel like by the end of it, you're kind of max. Just I'll do six. Yeah. Out there. Did you cringe when you raise your voice for the first time? I yeah. still cringe. Okay, same. Yeah. I, I can't actually. listen to myself ever. Yeah. Even when people <laughs> will tag me in clips of when, when I went on someone else's podcast. I can't listen to it because I won't want to share it. Yeah. Like I'll share screenshots. Yesterday I shared screenshots of a podcast because I couldn't stand my voice in it. Sweet stuff. And I was like, oh my god. I, I was can't. actually telling them about how I really liked your voice. Oh god. You know what? No, crazy. you literally said, like, wait, fuck, I love her voice. I know. Wait, no, it's so I weird. I really like your voice. What I have, I'm also a very proud Texan as we've already established. And yeah. I have this like godforsaken valley girl accent. I don't know where I got it from. It was before I moved to LA. I have no idea where it came from. So for so long on YouTube, everyone was like, oh my God, you're so annoying. Like whatever, I don't care. And then podcasting, <laughs> which I would say I'm the opposite of a calming person. I'm very, whatever. They're like, it's so soothing. And I'm like, I you guys like on drugs? No, no, literally. <laughs> no, what is their baseline? It's, no, the, literally. Their base is like calming. It is. It's just. Wow. And that doesn't. That's interesting. Listen, something can be calming and still be full of personality and full of energy. You know? Yeah, I but guess. I think the thing is, is it's really like the, it's a this little bit soothing. soothing. 
Why? I would never describe myself as that. Like, I'm, I'm pretty, <laughs> like, I'm like, Before you know. I don't know. It's really weird, though. But just so you know, I do not agree. Listening to your voice, so. But I did hear mine for the first time, and I was like, ah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's tough. Yeah. It's hard. Um, just finished recording. Their offices are so cute. Like, I knew they were cute because people have told me, but it was just so different seeing them. Like, it makes me want to move. Also, these Dallas passport things. I'll explain in a second. All right, so, like I was saying, basically Dallas 101 has these like passport collections that you buy and then it gives you all these like discounts or like you have like one free truffle, you have 25% off here. And it also like gets you out like a dollar specialty cocktail like all throughout the neighborhood, but they have different neighborhoods. They have different like categories, so like wellness, like things like that, I think. Like health. Cause like God, Woo! Jeff, what is this airing out Tampa? I'm like really in a Jeff FM. Um, Mood these days. So, anyways, I have to go get a facial. Not I have to. I'm gonna go get a facial. Um, my dad's med spa opened, so it's my first time going to see it. Making a TikTok. Oh, making a TikTok. And then um, after that, I do have a dibs event, and a lot of people are in town. Like I said earlier, so I guess I'm gonna see. I don't know anyone who's going, and I really don't know the attire. Oh, guys, we're here for the first time. Look who it is. <laughs> guys. I don't want to be here. Uh, why? Because well, that just be in it for a second, guys. Bye. Come see my dad. He opened up. Well, it's a franchise. Uh, med spa. I can't talk. I'm so hungry that I'm like losing my mind. He's giving me a tour of the space. Looks so nice. Back here, I'm gonna get a hydro facial. Those are my favorite facials. This is an incredible thing for me. I'm very excited. I will have a code eventually. Oh wow, it looks really nice. Oh my god. Yeah, that is really nice. It's gonna like go fast, you yeah. know? Which is head gear, right? Yes. So go for you recording. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Dallas, do you know Dallas Sites? The Instagram, Dallas Sites 101. They're like really good for rocks and stuff, but they have a podcast, so I recorded with them. Yeah. So you're sensitive. You've got some sensitivity in your skin. In the closet post facial. I don't even think you guys can see. <sighs> My skin is glowing. I love Hydra facials. I'm so proud of my dad. Very happy for him. He has wanted to do something like this for like literally my whole life. So I will have a code um, on the screen or I'll say something. I don't have it right this second, but I will have a code. So I'm very overwhelmed, but I'm going. I'm excited. I'm going by myself. I don't even know. I know Jenna's gonna be there. I know obviously Courtney will be there. I like I don't know who's going. And going to these things alone can kind of be like nerve wracking sometimes, even if like I don't know, like I don't know how to describe it. It's just like Ugh. I don't have an outfit picked out because I thought we're like watching elf. I thought they said to wear something really like cozy. So I thought like cozy casual. The house is like really freezing right now. Oh, I did just get these new pants. It'd be cute. I got the um good American black pants. I wore these in pink to the live show and they were incredible. Also, by the way, I have a dibs code, Kinsey25 for 25% off. I use dibs every single day. Those sticks that I use, that's dibs. Do I just wear these pants with like a sweater and some cute boots? I think that might be the vibe. All right, y'all. So this actual sweater, okay, well, the fact that my robe is just laying like that. These pants are incredible. I'm not wearing heels just because I don't feel like it. I am wearing my cowboy boots. This actually like this big normally, but it's like slightly too short to wear as a dress. I guess not really. Why did I think that actually? It's literally fingertip length. Why did I ever think that about this sweater? I can definitely wear this as a dress. I'm going to find a different sweater and while I'm talking to you guys, but what I wanted to say, oh, you know what I could do? I did wear this yesterday. But it's a turtleneck. It's kind of boring though. It is a little bit boring. These pants are really flattering. Anyways, what I was gonna say is, I feel like I've talked about this, but I always edit it out just because I feel like I'm being annoying or whatever. But I don't know. I just think like I have been struggling more in the past like year or so with comparison or like not feeling good enough or not feeling like I'm doing enough or I'm in like fill in the blanks and 
I, I it's a problem for me I guess I don't really know like I just get like really emotional and super hard on myself if like things are not like overnight success sold out in two minutes like I don't know I just think it's like really easy to compare yourself and I'm trying so hard not to like the other day that's why I was in such a big big funk because I just like I'm in Enneagram 3 like my biggest fear is failure and like even though I don't necessarily always define failure as like a career or success as like a career related thing it's important that I start using verbiage of like I sometimes feel this way because I don't always feel th these things and I don't always feel this way but I just think more so recently I've just been like really hard on myself and like comparing myself and like thinking that I'm not doing enough or it's not enough or it's not successful like I don't know just get really in my head and then I just get really emotional and then I'm like I want to just quit everything and like not even try and like who cares anyways like no one like if I wasn't like who cares like I'm not it sounds so stupid and annoying and like almost pick me but it's like I'm not someone like favorite influencer I'm not someone's like when I feel like I'm just kind of there sometimes that makes any sense which hopefully isn't the case I don't know but like I just have been so hard on myself and like if things are not and like again the thing is like something can do so 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 well and I still am like all right well next time it's got to be better and like next time it's got to be you know whatever like it's very um I don't know like I was in a really weird funk the other day and then I woke up and I really got out of it and I was just in a much better mood this morning and like things are going great and like whatever but like I don't know I just have really really unrealistic standards for myself and even when I do do really well in something I'm just like expecting I guess like more or something I really don't know guys like I don't know and like that's not to say I'm I am genuinely so grateful it really isn't me not being grateful it's me being like I am not doing enough or I am not successful enough or I am not this or that and I think my emotions and while at other times I don't feel this way and I have a healthy mindset and a healthier outlook, maybe it's like the holidays, just like where there's more added like emotions and pressure and stuff that makes it like worse. I don't really, I don't really know guys, but I don't know. That is like also the reality I think with me of like having my own business or like businesses because like I'm like the boss and I'm the one telling, like there's not someone that's saying like you're doing a good job, you know what I mean? So, anyways, not complaining. It's not about my actual job or anything like that. It's just about me and how I feel about myself towards my career at this point in time. If that makes any sense. Here's my outfit. I feel like it's just like a little subpar. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. I'm in like a really weird mood. Whew. I am so grateful for my life, for y'all, for my dogs, my family, Dallas, Texas, everything. I'm trying to like, I don't know. It's weird too because... Uh, like it truly is an anxiety thing because it like doesn't make sense like it's not logical but I don't know like I just I feel like I'm like in like a hamster wheel or something like it doesn't feel good all right my car's almost here and I changed and I feel like more myself with this fit I mean it's really boring don't get me wrong but going to these things can be really nerve-wracking alone like I said and I honestly rarely do go alone. Also, I will probably know someone there. Like, I just don't know who's coming from Dallas. Um, and I've never met these girls that I know are coming. <sighs> but I'm going. Okay. Also, my skin, like, actually is glowing. I know that's, like, what a hydrofacial does, but love that for me. I'm back from the event, it went well, I made new friends, and I got new dibs products. By the way, y'all can use code, I think it's Kinsey25 or 25% off dibs. Everything they have is incredible, like their lip glosses are amazing, their status sticks are amazing, their Beauty Island sticks, like, I use these like I was saying all the time, I need another one. I also, Lauren wants one, so she'll probably take one of mine. I don't know if I've had this color exactly, but they are so good. One side is a bronzer. They're not overhyped at all. Like, they really are just that good. So, anyways, also love their lip products. Would definitely recommend. I also got these cute little earrings. They're so different from what I normally wear, but I feel like could be fun. I had my headphones on because I just came from an Uber. I came back because, well, I needed to be at my house really fast or something, but 
um, I had to leave the movie a little early because I need to see you back here. And also I was like, I have so much work to do tonight. So I need to like edit and just like a bunch of other to do's and whatever. But it was fun. I really glad I went. It was really great. And yeah, I'm still really anxious, honestly. So part of me is like, maybe I just take a bath and make myself read. But like, I, I don't know what's going to make me feel better. Sometimes actually relaxing makes me feel better. Other times actually working makes me feel better. So I don't know. I might just like make water, make water. Guys, I'm not okay. Anyways. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry if you felt like I was like complaining or being annoying or like whatever. I will, I can never talk about it again. I'm sorry. It's just like anxiety and it's also like the reality of just like work stuff. Normally, I just text my friends or call my mom, which is what I was just talking to. But, you know, I don't know. I feel like it's also like literally like the reality. Like I see other people online who have businesses and they just seem like, or like clothing wise, they just seem like the happiest people who are like, not stressed and like everything works out so perfectly and like whatever which i know is obviously probably not the case like social media is not real but that's why it's like important for me to be like that is not my journey at least with like anything um but anyways i love you guys so much hope you guys enjoy shop the puff bag subscribe stay tuned for tomorrow's vlogmas we're doing a cooking class in the morning at 10 a.m so i'm really excited lauren's going to work out with me i'm gonna bribe her with some dibs products <laughs> She's going to be mad when I wake her or when I pick her up at 7 a.m. So, love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. On one hand, <laughs> I always do have this, like, little doubt of, like, oh, well, people actually like this song. Like, it might be total trash, and I just don't know it. Um, but at the same time, if it's just, like, one person that can connect to the song and um, can inspire them to do what they love or inspire them in, in, in any way, then I'm like, okay, I've done my job.